So it's a lovely sunny morning and I thought we'd come outside and have a look at the pond and wildlife that we get around the pond. Now this is our first species. This is my five-year-old Labrador cross pointer, Xena. Um, she's a very friendly, um, friendly girl and she loves her daddy, don't you? Uh, but we're not here to talk about her, we're here to talk about other wildlife. Now we get all sorts around this pond. Um, we've obviously got some fish in there, some loads of goldfish and a few other bits and pieces. We've got uh, loads of water boatmen that visit us, amazing dragonflies that I absolutely love watching, darting in and out of the reeds and around the water. Um, we've got a pair of woodpeckers that like being around the edge of the pond. They eat all the ants, which is really fascinating to see. They do dart off as soon as I come out here, which is a little frustrating. Um, what else do we have, Zena? We are really lucky here. We've got a kingfisher that comes and visits regularly. Um, I normally just catch a glimpse of the orange and blue if he's on, a, on one of the reeds when they're a bit taller than they are at the moment. So it feels incredibly special to have that. We do have, um, I think we've got three herons in this area. And there's a massive one that visits and then um, a couple of slightly smaller ones. Really, really frustrating because he's probably eating our fish, but I guess everybody's got to eat. Now, the pond here changes rapidly and through the seasons it is amazing to watch it. It is a lot of hard work, this pond. I must, I probably spend, I reckon, a week, a year in this pond. Um, the reed, it's got a reed bed, which we'll have a look at in a minute, which is getting really established, so it's getting further and further into the pond, which is very difficult to control, but I'm trying it just with my, my hands and maybe a pair of shears and a spade. Really difficult. It's a very silty bottom. It's quite a natural wet area just here, um, so it helps with the pond, but we don't have a liner in this, um, this particular pond, this big. It's very silty, so the fish really disturb it. I've been traipsing in here recently, I did some work a week or so ago, so it's, it's really quite murky at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. And this one and her friend, especially the other one, Tilly, who you may see, she's just doing a lap of the pond around the back at the moment. She loves a swim, um, especially on a Sunday. She loves going in there on a Sunday morning. So she is around the edge at the moment, so we could see her in there in a minute. So they really disturb it, which is a bit of a shame. We've got some incredible lily pads here, and the lilies are amazing. We've got lemon ones, pink ones, they are fantastic. And when the, uh, the, the dragonflies come in, it's just such a lovely scene. Um, but you don't need to have a big garden for a pond or a water feature. Um, we are really lucky here, um, I really do appreciate that. But one of my customers actually created a pond from, I think it was a margarine tub. They put um, some water in it, some sticks around it, some bricks, and made a little house for wildlife. Um, this was a four-year-old and it, it was fantastic. I'll try and get a photo of that because it really was good. I was so impressed with it. Um, and that's all you need. The wildlife that will come in um, will be amazing. But I'm just going to have it uh, show you around the pond, give you a quick tour, um, and I hope you enjoy it. So, here we go. Oh, there we go. Tilly's now in the pond. Let's go and see her. She's having a dip. She's looking at me as though to say, yeah, I'm going to disturb your pond. What's the problem? I'm, I'm hot. I need to cool off. Now, you can probably see here our lily pads. They're not flowering just yet. It's a little bit early. Oh, and here goes Zena. They're stealing the show from me here. But across the other side of the pond, you'll see all the reeds. Now, they're just freshly coming up. I cut those back right down, so there's nothing here in February. January, February. There we go. Having a swim and um, they grow really quickly. So they'll be as high as some of the trees that you may see in the background. Over this side, we've got these big leaves, which are called Gunnera manicata. They get huge. You see those, um, if anyone's been to Sandringham, um, there you'll see those around the pond. So the Queen's got these. If the Queen's got them, then we've got them. Um, they really are lovely. So there we go. It's just a different view of the pond. Um, have you been disturbing my pond, Zena? Yeah. Here comes Tilly. Nice and wet, so they're gonna they're gonna stink later from the water in there. But really lovely habitat. If you have got a little pond at home, just keep it nice and clear. Um, just keep it keep it clean. Otherwise, just just do something at home with water. It, it really is. It's a really lovely thing to have in the garden.